Hi there, this is Jennifer with Feasting on Joy. I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to come and talk to you about dryer balls today and I want to teach you how to make your own and show you how simple they are and they're very inexpensive as well. So dryer balls are a non-toxic alternative to dryer sheets which are full of fragrance and toxins that can really disrupt our systems. Dryer balls are something that you put essential oils on and you get therapeutic benefits from that. So come along and see how simple these are to make. The materials that you'll need in order to make your own dryer balls are 100% wool yarn. Okay, now I've actually already opened this one a little bit, but um, it says, I love this wool. And then on the back, you're going to find the label that tells you 100% wool. Okay, don't get a synthetic or it won't felt right in the dryer. And you won't have dryer balls in the very end. You're going to need a pair of scissors. A blunt object like a stick um, or even a pen with the tip not out uh, that can help you in the very end. I have three skeins of yarn here. Some I've already used to make some balls. Um, oh, also, sorry, you're gonna have to. You're gonna need a pair of pantyhose too. I just get a pair at the dollar store, cheap little guys. You're gonna be cutting them in the end, so it's not that you want to use any ones that you actually wear. Um, so just a cheap little pair of those. And then like I said, I have three skeins of yarn here. Each one will make about two and a half balls. Usually a set of dryer balls is three. Okay, so those are the materials that you're going to need for this project. So you're going to want to start by unwrapping some of your yarn and taking and wrapping on your index finger and your middle finger. Wrap the yarn around 10 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not so tight that I can't get it off, um, but you know, I can just slide it off a little bit like this. Okay, so I've slid it off, kind of hold it together. Then you're going to want to take this strand and wrap it in the middle like a bow. Almost. Now that you do want tight. Pretty much from here on out, everything that you uh, wrap around, you want as tight as you can. Not crazy tight where it's going to break, but just tight enough. So see, I'm rolling now all these little kind of loose ends. It doesn't look very good. It just looks like a big wad of yarn. But soon it will start taking the shape of a ball. So I'm just wrapping it around. And I kind of keep rotating a little because you want to get each strand. Oh, by the way, if you drop this thing, don't get frustrated. It's okay. I've dropped mine lots of times and some of it unravels. You just have to kind of ravel it back up and and it's okay. So it's not gonna it's not gonna be ruined or anything. Okay, so I'm slowly kind of getting all those little thingamabobbers on the outside to disappear and it's starting to take the shape of a little bit of a sphere. Okay, now that one didn't go around so I just wrap it around again. Try and do it somewhat slow so the camera stays in focus. Okay. Just keep rotating it. This part is the hardest part uh, because the thing is so little ball is so small. Um, it's kind of hard to hold on to. Um, and sometimes the strands don't wrap right or um, it comes unraveled a little. So I don't know if you can see that. Just in focus there. Again, not quite a ball yet, but it, it is taking shape. So now we just keep rolling, keep rolling. Basically, when the end is said and done, you're going to want a yarn ball that's a little bit smaller than the size of a tennis ball because when you put these in the dryer first you wash them actually then you dry them and when you do that they shrink wool shrinks remember that's why we don't wash our wool sweaters right because you'll have like a half a sweater by the time you're done okay so anyways I'm gonna be just winding away here um, I am you don't want it like loose see like that, you want it tight, okay? 
The reason is when you get them out of the dryer, if you have areas that weren't tight, it will actually, they'll kind of detach. So I've had dryer balls come out looking like they have a little hat on where it's like connected by one strand, but then the other part of it is flip, flapping all over the place because it didn't um, felt because the yarn wasn't tight, tight enough next to the other piece of yarn, okay, if that makes any sense. So for now, I'm just going to keep rolling, keep rolling. Oh, now see, look, that just happened. That's okay. Just keep rolling. Reroll it. And I'm rotating as I do. You don't want it to become like too pointy on one end. You really want it to be a ball. So in order to do that, it has to be rotated. Each one of these takes probably about 15 minutes to roll. So you see now it's getting a little bit easier to hold on to and wrap with. Which is really nice. If you do have fingernails, it helps to kind of dig your fingernails in there, almost like a claw to hold on to the ball that wants to get away from you. So see how that's that area is kind of sparse right there. Want to make sure and cover it, kind of line by line, and then rotate. See how it's kind of dented right here. It's not exactly smooth circle or smooth sphere, so I'm going to remedy that. Okay, so I'm going to continue rolling this until the size that I want it, and then I'll show you how to finish it off before it's put in the washing machine and then the dryer. So now you can see I've got my ball, about the palm of my hand size, a little bit smaller than a tennis ball, like I said. I made another one too. And now to finish, what we're going to do is cut off the yarn, the end of it, scissors. And then we're going to tuck that piece under the, the yarn. You kind of want to poke it in there. Sometimes you might need um, a tool to poke it in. So. I'll show you. I just got a stick here. Just kind of use whatever you find, even a pen that's not open. Kind of just poke it in there. Because basically you don't want it to come unraveled. In fact, I'm going to take this out that I just poked. I found a better place. I want it a little bit tighter. So I'm going to poke it in right under this big area. You see that? And that way it has less of a chance. It, it won't come unraveled really because of the way you put it in the dryer and what we put it in, the nylons, but you still want to make sure that it's secure as possible. So that's pretty good there. This might pose a little bit of a problem um, making that hat effect like I told you about earlier, but we'll see. Okay, so that's the end of that rollerball. I'm going to show you how to put it in the nylons now. So basically you're going to take a pair of nylons, like I said from the dollar store, the little cheapies. Um, I've used this before. I've used one leg before, which is why I've just tied uh, the end closed. If you haven't used it, then you'll have a closed foot, so you don't need to worry about tying that. So at this point, I'm going to take these nylons. I'm going to find that leg with the end that I tied and I'm going to stuff one of these balls down in to the very end of the nylon as tight as it can go okay this is what's going to help hold that yarn together as it's being washed and as it felt okay so now I've got it pretty tight in there and I'm going to tie a knot kind of like you would be making sausages <laughs> it's kind of funny so I'm going to tie a knot and it's going to, I want it to be as tight as possible against this um, yarn ball so that the yarn ball doesn't have any room 
to move around within that nylon when it's being washed, okay? Because when all is said and done, you're just going to cut these off, so it doesn't matter about untying it. Okay, so there's your first link to the dryer ball sausage. <laughs> then I'm going to put the next one in, and you can do this with as many. I've done it up to, I think, seven in a leg before, seven or eight. So let's see here. Am I doing the right one? Yep. Um, just as many will fit, and it's nice because then as you wash them, you are able to um, have more than one set. So these are great gifts. Um, I've made them before for Christmas gifts. Um, usually it's about three in a set, and you just go to the or get, go somewhere to get a nice container and put them in. And at the bottom of this post, I'm going to have a uh, um, link to my dryer ball labels, so you can put them in your container with your dryer balls that you've made, so the person that you give it to knows exactly what to um, do with them. So you can download that for free at the bottom of this post. So I'm just trying to get this as tight as possible against this, and eh, actually that may be a little loose, so I'm going to finagle that a little bit. I'm going to sign off for now, and I will be right back with you. So now, as you can see, I've got three wrapped up in the pantyhose, tied in knots that are tight, and I'm going to go pop it in the washing machine first on hot water for a quick cycle. Make sure it's hot, not cold. And then after that, I'm going to put it in the dryer for about 30 minutes on the hottest temperature it will go and I'll be able to show you what the final product will look like. Alright, so these have now just been washed in hot water and dried on high heat, so it's now time for the big reveal. I can tell you they do have the little hats like I, I kind of warned you against, but I'm glad because I want to show you what it's like and I want to show you how to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these open you just cut the uh, nylons off. Pull it out. sure not to cut the yarn obviously or the ball when you do cut it. So these are dry hour balls. Look at that. Uh oh. Bad news. Well guess what? You can cut this off because it's still felted. The ball is actually still felted together so it's just those loose strands you need to cut off. It's really not a big deal. Um, if I would have wrapped it a little tighter on the outside that wouldn't have happened but I wanted to just show you. So fully felted dryer ball and this you can just throw away. This one has a little bit of one going on so I'm actually going to trim that off as well because we don't need it. There's your and as you wash as you dry these with your clothes, they'll get even more and more felted. Okay. And then this one, look at this is the hat that I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like, I know. It's kind of cute actually. Corbin, my son, uh, kept it one time and used it as a little play toy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so we just trim those off again. Trim those little excess threads with the yarn. And now you have, this one's a little loose for my taste too. I'm gonna, so see it actually came unraveled a little, but no biggie. It's still all felted. So now you have three perfectly wonderful dryer balls. Because I love my readers so much, 
And because you watched this tutorial, hopefully it helped you, I am going to be giving this set of dryer balls away. So at the very bottom of this post, you can enter and hopefully you'll be the winner. So I'll be mailing these to you. It is for the United States only. I don't ship internationally at this point, but I'm excited for you guys to win this and try your favorite doTERRA essential oil with them and get rid of those nasty, toxic dryer sheets. So thanks for tuning in. Visit feastingonjoy.com for more videos like this and articles and wonderful things for your faith, your health, and your home.